Oh my god. Ah! She's hit. Hey ah! girl. I like, I like to scream. Let's do it together. Baby, that was my... Okay, let's try it. One, two. Ah! <laughs> Love and hip hop. Her name is Mona C Scott Young. Excuse me, Mona Scott Young. Why are you so hyphenated? Because I was married. Okay. But I had to keep my own identity. So what I did was I merged our worlds via our last names. How did your husband take that when you decided to keep the last name? Because I know my husband said we're not having that. He had no choice. Oh. I mean, you know, I was Mona Scott before we met, and okay. I was happy to take on his last name. He's lucky he didn't have to take on mine. I want you to get a real close shot up. This is a very beautiful woman. Aww, she she really is. Thank you okay, so much. I want to talk about you. I want to talk about the yes. show. Love in okay, before love and hip hop, what was it? I'm trying to get my footing That's here. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get comfortable. Wait, 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 you can see her shoes too, girl. You I'll be checking out, <laughs> I'll be checking out everything. You gotta get everything. <laughs> Before the love and hip hop, what mm. was Mona doing? I was doing management. I okay. was in music for years, 20 plus years. I was doing music management. I did that for a very long time. And I'd like to say manage some of the greats. Okay, greats like? Well, I mean, greats to me. Okay. Busta Rhymes, Missy Elliott, LL yes! Cool J. Um, you know, there was a company called Violator. I don't okay. know if you're familiar. It's been quite some time since. Uh, rest in peace to my ex-partner, Chris Lighty. But mm -hmm. we, over the course of... Probably 20 years in the business together had everyone, Mariah Carey, 50 Cent, wow. Maxwell, yeah, we had a pretty successful company. So then one day, what happens? Where did Love and Hip Hop come from? And can I tell you the name, yes. Love and Hip Hop? You like that? It's hot. I, you know, <laughs> the crazy part was, I don't know that that's what we even set out to do, right? We were doing this show, VH1 had a show that they were developing around Jim Jones. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd left Violator to start Mona Me Entertainment. And I wanted the focus to be television, film production, brand product development. And Yandy Smith, who was my uh, yeah. protege, Yandy came and joined the company and brought Jim Jones as a client. Wow. And they had been developing the show over at VH1, hadn't managed to get it off the ground in a few years. And at the time, there was like this whole change in the kinds of shows that were becoming popular. Mm -hmm. Everyone was doing like these female ensemble casts. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do television in a world that I understood, you know, with a group of people that I knew about. Mm -hmm. And that was and the music. And the culture mm -hmm. and the music and the, you know, artists trying to make it in the world and the women who love them. So that was kind of the genesis of the idea and surrounded Jim and Chrissy and his mom with an ensemble cast of women that were all kind of pursuing their dreams, whether those dreams were um, music career related or marriage related. You know, so now you're the creator, director, producer, everything. Oh, no, no, no. no. There's a whole team. There's okay. a whole team. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I'm the executive producer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a great team of people. I have partners that I do this with. It's a company called the Eastern. Stephan and Toby are my partners in it. Guys. Stephanie <laughs> Gale, who is my partner in Mona Me, who I could not do this without. Um, but yeah, we've got a great team of people. And the franchise has grown. Okay. It's grown so tremendously. So it's definitely not a one-woman show by I any means. I like when you host the show also and how you keep that order and I think I was watching one of them, and you were like, look, this is not happening to you. You need to pipe that down. <laughs> I think that's with uh, Jocelyn. Is it Jocelyn? Jo Jocelyn, yeah. Jocelyn. Woo! The, the funny part about it is that happened by default. Mm -hmm. Because it was like, okay, they, they are so passionate. They're passionate on screen, off screen, with the camera, without the camera. So, um... The relationship that exists amongst us allowed me to come on there and kind of keep order while we tried to find some resolution. And so I ended up hosting the first and then the second, third, fourth. But um, I'm hanging up my microphone. I'm very excited. Wait a minute. Yes, I was going to do it. <laughs> That's a surprise. No. I've got a great host. I am really? so excited about it. No, she's going to tell me who this host is. Oh, you're going to have to beat it out of me, girl. No, we will going to find out who the host is. <laughs> Mona is hanging out. It's Sasha the Diva. We'll be back. We'll be back. Pause that because I gotta And guess what? She told me in my ear. <laughs> in your ear. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> She's so crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. It's gonna be good, right? Okay, when are you gonna make the announcement? I don't know. We're gonna wait closer. We're shooting in a few weeks, so uh, it airs sometime in January, and people will know soon enough. Let me just say this. This house? They ain't gonna play no games. Go ahead and cross <laughs> the, to, the, to the ones that are on the show. Go ahead and cross the line, okay? You will be hurt. Your feelings will really be hurt. <laughs> High five on that one. 
Okay, I love what it. other projects are you working on now? Well, the thing that I'm really excited about, what I'm here in Atlanta for, is a uh, Mixed Fusions Moscato. That's my newest little venture. Yes, I just good. decided I'm making a sharp left turn and I'm going into the wine business. Okay. So, Mixed Fusions, have you seen it? Have you tasted did it? Did you bring me some? I brought you some. She I did. Some. Here okay, it is coming into frame. Okay. From the air, Mixed Fusions. Yes, yes, yes. Nice so, if bottle. you're a Moscato drinker, you I'm not will really love. a drinker, but I'm okay, going to figure this out is how good. to get No, this no, no. Open. You just open it. Look, don't oh, be messing up my. Yes, you just oh. open it. Look at that magic leaving the bottle. You Thank like you. that? Oh, mm. it smells good. This is the peach, mm -hmm. and it's real Moscato juice, so the Moscato wine, and then we've infused it with peach, mm. with coconut. Excuse me, will someone give me some ice, please? <laughs> exactly. No, you're supposed to chill it, and it comes in this really cute little four pack, mm -hmm. but they come all in the same flavor, and it's a uh, women's, you know, beer occasion. I figure the guys have their six pack, now we got our cute little four pack. This is cute. So wait a minute, so you're telling me you're not going to be doing TV no more, and you're just focusing on this? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm not just focusing. Oh, this you're is just... just I'm expanding the empire. Okay. I'm growing the ventures. Okay. So this is just my latest little venture. Mixed well, fusions and stuff. Congratulations. Thank so you. I can get this now. You can get this now. As a matter of fact, we are doing uh does this air today? Because we are doing a huge Walmart in store uh -huh. today, uh, the 2427 Gresham Road location. Yeah, I know. So that. we'll be there. So we're in the Walmarts. We're, actually, what's great about this is it's only 5.5% alcohol. Okay. So we are like in your corner store, your bodegas, your supermarkets. So you're not going to get crazy tipsy. You, you're not going to okay. get crazy tipsy. You can drink. This is just me and my girlfriends just having a cocktail. Having a good time, having a relax. cocktail. And if you know the way you drink Moscato, you just kind of guzzle it. Yeah. You don't like sniff it. And can it. I tell you, I'm not a drinker. So, you know. But most people like this. Yeah, even but, though, but it's know. okay. It's not, it's not burning my stomach. Exactly. Okay, and you'll find that you don't even high get to. Exactly. I, don't want, I don't want to feel that way. No, you want to be in control. You it want the panties good. to stay on. <laughs> <laughs> Can we well, say that? Um, <laughs> it just depends, though. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you've had like fantastic success with the television show, what other shows are you working on? Are you want to stay in the reality? Well, actually, the reality has been great. I yeah. mean, I have a number of shows that I've done, you know, on VH1. I just um, finished up a show called The New Atlanta on Bravo. They just finished airing. Okay. Um, that did well. Okay, and I just don't like the show, but it's okay. That's okay. just my opinion. No, well, I, I, you know what? I don't. I didn't. I just, I'm not feeling them right okay. now. Okay. But, but it's okay. But this is what I say, even with Love and Hip Hop, I have people who are so passionate and they'll get on the internet, you know, I call them, the, what do they call them, the, the keyboard gangsters, but they just go in and mm -hmm. I'm just like, listen, everything is not for everyone. Mm -hmm. I do tons of different kinds of things. This is not the That's total. That's for different people. Exactly. This is not the total body of work that I'm ever going